Welcome, welcome. My name is Dr. Nemi Sark, and today um, you are invited for a very, very special treat. We have in our facility one of those filthy, dirty animals from Tingle Bottom Industries. Yes, I'm going to tell them now. Bravo 3 apprehended this creature not long ago, and they have been in our holding facility, waiting to be questioned. You are all invited um, to watch along during the interrogation. Um, yes, yes, Bravo 3, bring, bring the creature in. Please, I am very excited about this. You have no idea. So, before we even start, we have been getting a lot of complaints about dry hands. So, why don't we take care of that before we get into the nitty gritty. Some people have an issue with dry hands whilst the viewing interrogations is on. I took it upon myself to purchase an extremely exquisite product to help negate. the dry skin problem. I mean, you know, far be it from me to have to, like, fix my car or rake the lawn or, you know, do things that make my hands look a little rough around the edges. Okay, can we begin now? Are we okay? Any more complaints, Bravo 3? If one more person comes Yes. Okay, now, to make sure we have the right person, I'm going to require a description of the individual so we know for absolute certainty we're not wasting our time with some low-level peon. Okay, so, um, give me a, a basic description. So essentially, you've... Does this look like the individual you're talking about? No. No, that didn't... That didn't make any sense to me either. So let's try this again. Um, okay, just start from the top and describe, like, the top of their head, their eyes. Uh-huh. Really? Hmm. Yes, yes, I understand. Okay, let me show. Hmm, it's rather odd. Oh no, it just doesn't sound like one of his personal terms. Okay, is this uh, the individual we are talking about? Gotcha, gotcha. Continue, continue. 
horns? Hmm. I think we are zeroing in on the... Okay, and last but... Really? this the individual we are to question <laughs> I Dr. Nam is our kid. I'm a genius I know precisely who this is Bravo 3 bring in subject 227 oh yes I'm sure bring him in you sit right here, and you will now give me the information I require, and I will do everything in my power to make you want to talk. I will first try causing those so-called tingles, and then I will possibly relax you to a state. Who, who put the Skull and Crossbones logo on this cup? Fire them immediately. Without pay. This is a travesty. I look like an amateur. An amateur evil scientist. And that's not cool. Well, do you think I want to be made fun of by all the other amateurs?
Okay, I didn't want to have to resort to other means, but it looks like he's going to play hardball. Do you see what this is? Yes, yes, yes. So, <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to witness what I am. Bravo 2, Bravo 3. You're getting me so angry, I'm forgetting your name. Do not worry. I never go overboard. What's that? Oh, it's a little bit of a truth serum. Seems the filthy, dirty, purple cow told us precisely where the device is. So please do let the word get out to Professor Dinglemore and Dinglemore Industries. Dr. T thinks he's so handsome. He's the bomb, dude. 
just for those supposed tingles or relaxing. I'm going to strip it of all its wealth. You'll see what I mean shortly enough. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look at this. A lucky. Look at what we have here. This seems to be rather expensive scientific instrument. It contains lots of very exquisite jewels. Hmm. I wonder what this button does. Hmm. as if you're focusing on the center of the aperture. It causes a This device means nothing to me more than just money and power. The jewels, the, I don't know, I just can't help but look at the center stone. It's so beautiful. It's quite, it's quite exhilarating to know that it's going to make me a very wealthy individual when I strip it of all its, all its resources. that he have on his you found this in his personal effects what is this what is this you've handed me bravo three what is this? oh <laughs> disgusting how did you even give that to me you should have thrown that away and put it in the incinerator wait till the professor finds out what i have taken from him between his filthy little dirty purple cow and this priceless device, he's going to be so angry. I already have 
recently challenged him to a game of Call of Duty, and he wimped out on me. Well, he didn't answer me, but I know he saw my message. I know he did. He's a little noob. I'll pwn him on the battlefield. Call of Duty. Just don't pwn him. Just don't mess with me. Just throw him in the backyard, let him run off. Just give him a towel, he'll be fine. Dirty cow, he lives in the mud anyways. He's a dirty, dirty little minion of Tingle Bottom Industries. We do not care about him. We have got the saber. I'm renaming it. I'm renaming it the saber of wealth. <laughs> the saber of wealth and power. successfully crashed into a dirty, filthy, purple cow employed by Tingle Bottom Industries. Results?
because of Tingle Bottom is going to be very capital letters very <laughs> angry. He will now also realize my Because I have possession of this stuff. Okay, we'll mark this as a very special day.